Hey guys, Compressor House is here again. Uh, we've got another video for you today. So we've had a few questions from people online um, where we talk about setting up the uh, ultimate kits and the sleeper kits. And we talk about uh, locking the ignition, uh, the distributor advance to avoid uh, engine detonation and other, dam other potential damage. Um, so people have asked, how do we actually do that and can we do a quick video just so that we can explain it step by step again so that's what we're going to do today we're going to go through this so this this engine and this distributor here so what we've got here is a 009 distributor um, so this is one of the most common distributors and actually if you're not using the one two three ignitions these are actually the ones that we recommend um, so what we're going to do is we're going to strip this distributor down and then we're going to explain exactly what we mean by locking the advance. Okay, so um, we're going to strip this distributor first. So this has actually got an electronic ignition module in it. So just take your cap off, rotor arm off. I also need to take off that magnetic thing there. Okay, so what you've got looking here is usually obviously where you would see your points and your condenser fitted. So you want to remove those and actually um, just one point to make there. If you are running your kit with or uh, yeah, if you are running your kit with points and condenser, I do highly recommend that you, you remove those and go for one of these um, ignition uh, modules. They're much, much better uh, and they'll let, let, allow your engine to run. Uh, better and also uh, tick over etc so much much better anyway what we're going to do is just going to take that off and take that out there we go so we've got one of those oops I'm going to take the module out that out of there now what we've got below here look is a plate and that plate is held on by the screws that hold the cap in so we need to remove that so let's just get them off There we go. So now we're just left with this plate. We need to get this plate out. So there we go. Now sometimes, I mean that's come off quite easily, but um, if you've got an older version of one of these, um, you might find that takes a little bit of prize in to pull it out. But uh, yeah, a bit of WD-40 around it and a little bit of a clean afterwards always helps. Okay. Okay, so let's get this in there. Right, okay. So when we talk about um, locking the uh, advance uh, and bending tabs, what I mean exactly is these here. So you can see I've marked the top of these two tabs here white so that you can see them. And they're the tabs that we need to bend. And by bending them inwards, it locks the advance mechanism from working. And the advance mechanism works like this. So your engine spins, and the faster it spins, these two arms here look open up. So that's your advance mechanism working. So if you look at the shaft here, you imagine your engine spinning at 3000 RPM, and as it spins faster and faster, it, it moves your uh, rotor arm forward and therefore giving you some uh, ignition advance. And that's what we're trying to stop here. So it's really easy. All you need to do is just drop your distributor in a vise. Obviously be careful, you don't wanna damage it. Uh, and then just bend the tabs to lock them in. So look, here's the top one. 
There we are, it's one locked. And the next one again is locked. Okay, so what we've done there, look, so now when we spin this, the rotor arms will move a slightly, well the, well, the arms will move slightly, but not enough to allow the timing to advance. So what you've done basically there effectively is uh, exactly what we've mentioned, is locking out the advance mechanism so it stops operating. Um, so what we'll do now is, we'll, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build this back up. Uh, we're gonna drop it on an engine. And actually what we're gonna do is take you through um, timing and um, what to do in terms of best settings that we've found. Um, so you don't need to take our advice to set this, but of course, you know, you just try and find the best settings that you can for your engine. And I keep repeating this on some of the other engines, that every engine's different and they all behave differently. So we can't give you a definitive set it to a certain level, but we go for 18 degrees static advance. Okay, so we've built most of this one back up. We've put the plate back in, put the um, ignition module back in there. So let's just put in that magnetic rotor. We'll put the rotor arm on, put the distributor cap back on. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll go and drop it in the engine uh, and we'll time it up. Okay, so we've put the distributor in the engine now. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll just go through the, uh, the timing of it. So because you've locked now the uh, arms to lock the advance for your distributor, um, the static timing um, needs to be set at around about 18 degrees at idle. So let's just start it up. We'll get the uh, timing gun on here uh, and we'll show you what we mean exactly. Okay, right. do there is while the engine was idling we've set the time at 18 degrees and what you've also seen is when we've revved the engine up beyond 3000 rpm the advance doesn't go beyond the 24 degrees and of course that is really important it will protect your engine from any damage uh, due to it um, over advancing and becoming too lean etc so there you go, it's dead simple. It's not as easy as, it, it's not as um, hard as it sounds. Uh, so hopefully that's, um, that's helped a, a few of you guys out who've been asking questions on how to do that. Uh, remember to follow us, um, keep, keep following us, press that button. And um, if there's any new videos that pop out in the near future, you'll, you'll get to see them. Okay, have a great day.